Over to snow, we wrap up the week with cold temperatures, so what you need is a nice warm quilt. Today, believe it or not, and you got to believe it, is National Local Quilt Shop Day. So I, of course, visited a local quilt shop in East Hanover, and I asked them, why should people quilt? Why shouldn't they quilt is what I say. It's always exciting because every step of the way is different. It's very therapeutic for a lot of people. It's also very tactile. It's very forgiving. And quilters are a great community. Talk about dudes in quilting. <laughs> I picked up quilting maybe 10 years ago, and I just haven't stopped since. You could take one thing that inspires you. If it's a piece of fabric, if it's something you see outside, if it's a pattern, and turn it into anything you want it to be and get lost in that process. Jackie worked in sales in corporate America, but she was feeling a little hemmed in, so she knew she wanted to open her own business. And at this business, it breaks down this way. About 60% in hardware or sewing machines, 30% in these fabulous fabrics, and then 10% in service and classes. There are some children that are, you know, autistic or on the spectrum, and when they get behind a sewing machine, they're transformed. These are definitely not your grandmother's sewing machines. It's all about high tech. In fact, this one over here can take a design or even a drawing, then digitize it, and then embroider it. And it only costs $14,000. Are you surprised, though, when somebody comes in and buys a $14,000 sewing machine? When I first started working here, yes, I was, but not anymore. It's calm in place. The quilting industry is huge. This is a long arm quilting machine. This is actually big enough to make a king size quilt. Basically, you pick the design and the machine does everything else. This is making a beautiful queen size quilt. They're all laser guided and can be yours for just $30,000. Why is it important for communities and consumers to support locally owned businesses? When you're supporting local, we're also giving back to our same community. We are the ones that spend locally in our communities, employ locally in our communities. It enables us to further support our local communities. Now this is actually the smallest quilt I've ever seen made, but look at that, they made CBS for us. And Cindy, you would be shocked. The people that are buying the sewing machines are, are millennials. They're really getting into this, so that's going on. And also, Jackie uh, is a, a dynamo, and they give back to the Girl Scouts, they're helping schools, they help the veterans. So again, it's all about shopping local. We're gonna explore more local pet owners and pet shop owners, I should say, coming up in our 9 o'clock hour. But uh, fascinating stuff on National Quilt Shop Day. Catch the fever. And uh, maybe a stitch in time will uh, keep you nice and warm. Cindy, back to you. Well, John, I love it because with quilting, just like knitting, so much love is put into each piece. And I have to say, one of the most beautiful things that a viewer has sent me was a quilted pillow. You know, I mean, because you oh. know how much thought and, and, you know, personal detail and love went into that. Very therapeutic. It is. John, thank you very much.